Billboard. I'm Tom Petrarch, and we have got a terrific show for you this week. We're going to show you all the exciting highlights of the California Angels series, along, along with the series that was just completed with the Yankees. We're going to interview official scorer Bob Rosenberg. Jeff Tolberg is going to show you about catching techniques and much, much more. But first of all, this young studly man next to me, Jeff Torberg, is, mad, is uh, modeling the new uniform the Sox will be wearing in 1991. Skipper, how does it feel? And do you think the rest of the guys will look as good in their unis as you do in yours? Yeah, I tell you what, this is a classy looking uni. It's, it's kind of a, a return to tradition. At the same time, it's, uh, it's modern. Um, the marketing department has really done a, a great deal of research on this thing. And, it, and we started talking about a year and a half ago. And with the move into the new ballpark, we wanted to retain tradition but at the same time be aware of what the White Sox fans really wanted. And through a lot of research and a lot of mail, um, we've come up with a, the uniform that looks very much uh, similar in some regards to the last World Series team, the 59 team. And that's where this hat with the, the uh, traditional old SOX, uh, old English SOX intertwined on it, really looks sharp. And the colors now are going to be black and silver. And that's, that's tough and it's, uh, it's classy. We've grown to, to pinstripe home uniforms, which uh, Pudge was modeling today. Uh, we also have, Ozzy has a black uh, warm-up shirt on, which will go with these uniforms and a black uniform patch, so we're going to look good, I think. All right, well, I'm sure. I hope those lucky uniforms are as lucky as they were yesterday. Sox went into Major League history yesterday. They had a no-hitter pitched against them by Andy Hawkins, yet they won the game 4 to nothing. You know, the elements played a big part of that ball game yesterday, Jeff. I guess you could say Earth, Wind, and Fire had a lot to do with that, and that would be a great name for a band.